conceptualizing the knowledge management cycle is important because as we talk in our course about management, managing becomes easier if we can measure indicators and have clear objectives, a direction to follow. Being a broad subject, it's advisable to slice the overall knowledge management into smaller pieces. We will explain how. First, let's talk about the pieces, the processes that form the knowledge management macro process. There are several definitions available, somewhat different among themselves, of this knowledge management process cycle. Here, we use a simplified version. Creation and capture. Generally mentioned as the first process of the cycle, as it originates the object to be managed, the knowledge itself. The knowledge can be created, being an innovation, or it can be captured using one or more existing sources of this knowledge. An example of knowledge creation would be the relativity theory formulated by Einstein. Before him, this knowledge didn't exist. An example of knowledge capture would be a newspaper article. The article alone could be original, but it was created based on a fact or facts known already. The differentiation between one and the other form, knowledge creation or capture, is often not relevant for its management, except in what it relates to the intellectual property protection, subject that we will address in one of our next videos. Use and sharing. Frequently defined as two separate processes, but nowadays, with the available technology for immediate knowledge sharing, it makes sense modeling them as one single process. Using knowledge is making a decision or executing an action based on it. Sharing it is involving others in its usage, be only through broadcasting it, be through collaboration. Storage and accessibility. The knowledge must be protected, physically stored, be in paper, be electronically, be as brain synapses. The storage means define the possible access forms to the knowledge. For example, it's not possible yet to read minds, but through tomography and magnetic resonance, one can map the brain's activity. So, if a knowledge is stored only in one person's brain and not in any other form, this knowledge can only be accessed by others when the knowledge owner transmits it by speech or writing. Update sometimes classified as knowledge improvement or refinement. Here, we are a little more careful as we consider more adequate the term update, given that knowledge updates could be for worse, more distant of what would be the truth or what is scientifically or evidence proven. Avoiding being too philosophical, we'll give just one example of how the knowledge can go backwards. We know today that the planet Earth orbits the Sun and not the opposite. Around 2,300 years ago, the Greeks already proposed that, but in the medieval times, this concept was forgotten reappearing 
only in the 16th century. When a knowledge is updated, it starts the cycle again. Each one of these four pieces of knowledge management or knowledge management processes should be managed taking into account their objectives. When we create or capture knowledge, we want to put it into practice in an effective and useful way. When we share knowledge, we hope that it will be improved somehow. Thus, we can create success indicators for each process, measure and compare them periodically. In our next video, we'll talk about taxonomy. Until then.